Thanks, Tricia. I know the scenery is absolutely gorgeous up in Beaver Creek, but guess what? It's beautiful down here in the studio as well. And joining me now, I have an artist who will be featured this weekend in Lion's Head. It is Stanley Levinson with Karistan Stained Glass. How are you this morning, Stanley? Excellent. Very good. Well, thanks a lot for coming in today. It's my pleasure. I hear you're a Florida boy. You had to come up here to cool down a little bit. Right. It's too hot and humid in Florida, so we came here to for three months and uh, visit my son. That's Elizabeth. nice. And and so your son said, hey, Dad, you're such a great stained glass artist. You better get into all these different art festivals that go around on, in the valley mm -hmm. and throughout Colorado. Correct. And so which ones are you really excited about? All of them. Uh, we're here for Lion's Head, mm -hmm. uh, the one in Edwards, in Beaver Creek, Aspen, mm -hmm. Frisco. I was lucky to get accepted to all of them. Okay, so it's a process to get accepted yes, to a yes. fine art, uh, right. to, a, to a big event like this. Yes. And now you, you decided retirement really wasn't going to cut it for you, so you were going to cut some glass into little pieces and make art. <laughs> Very good, that's it, yes. And how did you, what happened? Tell me about the process well, of that. We, uh, we spent a few months in Mexico mm -hmm. one year, about 15 years ago, and uh, I was walking down the street and I saw a store that sells stained glass mm -hmm. i walked in and i got to talk to the owner and uh, got friendly with him and he gave me some lessons and mm -hmm. i from there on we were staying at a uh, artist uh, tola cranston is a canadian mm -hmm. artist and ice skater uh we were staying at his house and uh, he encouraged me and uh, did some work there mm -hmm. And after that, I just caught on and kept doing it. Okay, so a little bit of practice, yes. and then you have these beautiful pictures. Yes. Not pictures, stained glass stained art. Glass. They're yes. framed, they're gorgeous, they're so colorful. Thank you. Um, a lot of times we hear about how the artists come up with things. They are, they're either inspired by something mm -hmm. they see in nature. What's your inspiration, and how does the process of stained glass work? Well, I, I see a picture of something, uh, or, and uh, I try to recreate it uh, in my own style. Mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, to produce uh, the stained glass. Okay. And uh, as long as I like it, that's what I do. I don't do it because somebody else likes it. Mm -hmm. I don't do commissions. Uh, I just do something that I, I enjoy doing. And so once you started doing these things, how did it become something you were going to sell? I mean, you must have stained glass hanging in your home. Yes, yeah. I do. Okay, and and then, my wife won't sell some of them. Oh, well, good. Yeah. Good for her. <laughs> okay, we're taking a look, uh, a look at a piece right now. And this one is gorgeous with the sunflowers. Thank you. When you go out and sell these pieces, they're original, unique, one of a kind. Yes. And how long does it take to make a piece like this? Oh, probably 60 to 80 hours. Yeah, that's a long time. Yes, so yeah. you're working pretty hard. Yes. Your, your wife must be like, yeah, Stanley, go to your home office. That's right. <laughs> it's a chance for uh, Carol to get me out of the house. Right. And uh, I, I come in either to come in to, for lunch or uh, go to the bathroom. Right. Because I converted the, our garage into a studio. Okay, so you work tirelessly down yes. in Fort Lauderdale yes. throughout yes. the winter. And right. then I was asking him, how do you get the stained glass here? Because this would be something that would seem like it would be pretty nerve-wracking to ship. It is. Mm -hmm. I, in this case, I packed the uh, box them all put them in our car and ship the car here. That's a, that's a funny way to do it. Yeah. Forget FedEx. Well, <laughs> To ship them, otherwise it would be an enormous amount of money. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it'd be a lot of money just to box them properly and ship them. Right. I've shipped one once to my son, uh, a stained glass I did of a ski thing, and it came smashed to pieces. Oh, that's going to be heartbreaking. So I said, I'm never going to do that again. Right, yeah. exactly. Okay, and here we are taking a look at some of your other yes. other pieces. Uh, right. They're so unique and whimsical. Thank you. I love this one. This is gorgeous. Will we be able to see this at yes, your show this yeah, weekend? Yes, show. How many pieces, Stanley, will you have? Uh, about 30. 30 pieces. Yes. Okay, so that's great. So check them out in Lion's Head this yes. weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday you're going to be out there? Uh, yes. Yeah, Friday, tell, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All yes. right. Well, hey, stop working so hard. You're retired. You're right. <laughs> You're not going to do it, not are you, do Stanley? That, no. Okay. Well, it's so nice to meet well, you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Your artwork is absolutely thank beautiful. Right, thank you. It's Stanley Levinson. You can find him at the art festival this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday up in Lion's Head. Right now, though, we are going to take a quick break. When we return, would you like to ski in the summertime? I'll tell you how you can do that.